Trish welcome back to my channel for another video I know I've been slacking with the makeup tutorials but in the past you know your girl will upload makeup tutorials and people I, I feel like I did not get it as many views on my channel not on my channel but on like the makeup tutorials so you know I just kind of just been like not doing them but also me doing other videos has made me really lazy with doing these makeup tutorials but you know I'm hoping you guys enjoy the other content because there's more to me than just makeup I love other stuff as well so yeah um this is the look that I am doing in today's look um in today's video uh somebody requested this look in my previous video so you know, I know it's been about I think it's been about two months since I've done like a my like my um everyday look, but you know I just figure out you know do another one, and yeah, so I did that. You know, it's real cute, real simple, nothing too much, but you're still extra and cute. <laughs> so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like, comment, please do not leave here without subscribing to this channel if you guys have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, so my brows are already done. So I'm just gonna start off with applying my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is the color Toast. I'm gonna be putting this all over my lid, and I'm gonna blend it out with a moist beauty blender. Thumbs up the video if you guys missed my makeup tutorial videos. And also comment down below like, what like type of makeup looks you guys would like to see because when it comes to like makeup looks i never know what the hell i want to do so if you guys missed the um makeup tutorials thumbs them thumb the video up and then let me know down in the comment section what like looks that i should do next And now I'm just taking my face powder that I usually use on my face and I'm just going to set the concealer with the powder because usually when I do this type of look or whatever, I don't put on any eyeshadow. So I just use my face powder and I um, put that all over my lid on top of my concealer. So now I'm just jumping right into the face. Um, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild face primer and I'm putting it all over my face. This look is like, this look takes me like 15 minutes to do y'all. 15 to 20 minutes to do depending on how like detail it is, but it takes me 15 to 20 minutes to do. It's not a long look at all, but I'm still cute when I'm done. Now I'm just taking my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the matte one and I'm in the shade Deep Bronze and I'm just, I'm just putting that all over my face. And I'm just using my beauty blender to blend all this stuff in, but I'm just blending in all my foundation in with the beauty blender. Now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution uh, contour stick, and I think this is in the shade F90 or F80. I'm not sure which one it is, but I will make sure to leave all the goodies that I use on my face down in the description box. Per usual. And now I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer again and I'm mixing the shades Toast and Fawn. Usually when I go for this type of look, I just mix these two in because Toast is a little bit more closer. I don't want to say it's close to my skin tone, but it's more of a natural highlight. And then Fawn just kind of gives me like a... It just gives me like a nice highlight. So I just like to mix these two together and I'm just gonna be taking my 
damp beauty blender again and i'm going to be blending this stuff into my skin i hope everybody is staying safe during this quarantine i am a healthcare worker so make sure you guys are staying safe wearing a mask washing our hands keeping hand sanitizer on you guys so just make sure y'all staying safe and staying at home if you're not staying at home at least keep your six feet okay keep your six feet oh i did went ahead and highlight the rest of my face with the concealer and i'm just blending it out Now I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, setting powder and I'm just going to set my highlighted areas with this powder. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this powder. Um, it just does this thing that I don't like. I don't know if it's just me or what, I don't know what the hell it is, but I have a love-hate relationship with this powder. Sometimes it sets nicely and you won't see no nothing, but sometimes it, when it sets, it kind of like... It kind of like just looks a little muddy if that makes sense or whatever. I know, but I usually just fix it with, um, it usually goes away whenever I set my face. And now I'm just taking my uh, contour palette, uh, my contour color from the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. And I usually use the shade uh, Kenya. It's like the deepest, the deep brown color that's in their palette. And I usually just use that to contour my face. Now I'm just dusting away this powder with this Real Techniques brush that I have. See, I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe it's my eyes or if I'm going crazy, but I don't know. But it looks a little muddy, but whatever. It's going to correct itself once I um put this powder all over my face. And I'm just using my Maybelline face setting powder um, to uh, set the, my whole face. And I used the shade, I think it's called Deep, Deep Bronze. It's deep some. I'm just going to leave it down in the description box so you guys can check it out. And sorry if I sound a little bit tired. I did just um, get off this morning. I do. I work overnight, so excuse me if I sound a little tired and a little hoarse. Now I'm just taking my face powder again, and I'm just kind of like sculpting my face with that. Um, I like my face to look a little chiseled, so I usually just take my face powder and I just, you know, cleaned up the, at the bottom of my contour. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Matte Eyeliner, and I will be doing my eyeliner on you for you guys. I'm just doing one eye, and the other eye will be done off camera. I just don't show you guys how I do my eyeliner, so that's why I included this clip. But it's just going to be one eye, and the other one will be done off camera. Y'all, this video is supposed to be been out, but your girl just been, I keep telling, I always tell myself when I get off in the morning, I'm going to, you know, finish editing the video. And then I come home, I take a shower and just go straight to sleep. So <laughs> the video is going to get posted today. It's going to get posted. And now I'm just taking these uh, pretty uh, 25M beauty spot store lashes that i found and i'm just putting those on now i'm just taking this uh morphe palette and i'm just taking this light nude um matte eyeshadow and i'll be using that as my brow bone highlights usually when i just go for this usually when i go for this type of look my little go-to look i usually just put like something matte or something shimmery in my brow bone for, but with this time around i went with something matte and i used the same shade in my inner tear duct just to kind of keep everything cohesive No, it's not the same shade. It's just a, it's a, I think it's a shimmer. Um, it's a shimmer. It's like a light nude shimmer shade, but it was from the same palette. Now I'm taking my Julius Place Sahara and Two Volume Two Blush Palette, and I'm taking the shade Kotau, and that's gonna be my blush, my blush for this look. Yeah, quarantine and Corona just got my hands looking like all types of busted. I can't wait to get my hands done again. 
Now I'm just taking my Morphe, my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray my face. Um, as you guys can see, I kind of went a little heavy with it, but it's okay. It's going to set. And now I'm just taking this uh, highlighter from this company called Kiss by JK Cosmetics. Well, they have a new name. I think it's Lolly Luxury Cosmetics now on um, Instagram. And she has these bomb highlighters, you guys. I've been having this highlighter for like about a year now. But this shade is called Wet and it's like a deep bronze gold highlighter. It's so pretty and I love the way it looks on my skin. It's one of my favorite highlighters. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. Now I'm taking this Morphe lip liner in the shade, I think this shade is called Richie. Yeah, this is Richie. And I'll be using a dose of colors liquid lipstick. And I think the color I used was, I don't remember what color I used, but like I said, I'll make sure to include it in my description. I'm sorry for the shaking of the um, camera, you guys. Chanel was probably running into my camera she always went into my camera and just can't never let me film in peace but yeah oh this is a color rain lipstick y'all um it's not a dose of colors but it's a color rain lipstick and this is in the shade satin cream that's this is the name of this one it's called satin cream pretty pretty nude shade i love this nude color on my lips and this is pr it's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do not leave my channel without like, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.